Hi everybody and welcome back to the Retroactive MCU Review. I am your friendly neighborhood web slinger host, Mr. Boring. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man Homecoming, released in 2017, is a refreshing take on the iconic web slinger. Tom Holland takes on the role of Peter Parker in this coming-of-age superhero tale set in the MCU. It's yet another movie that was spinned off out of Captain America Civil War. Now, let's get to know Peter Parker. Spider-Man Homecoming follows the teenager Peter Parker as he navigates the challenges of being a high school student and a friendly neighborhood superhero. Peter eagerly awaits his next mission after the events of Captain America Civil War, where he fought alongside Team Iron Man. However, he finds himself stuck dealing with small-scale crime while longing for the excitement of being an Avenger. Everyone needs a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. The main antagonist, Adrian Toomes, the Vulture, played by Michael Keaton emerges as a salvage worker turned arms dealer. He utilizes alien technology left over from previous MCU battles to create advanced weaponry. This puts him on a collision course with Spider-Man when their path cross. Throughout the film, Peter grapples with the responsibilities of being Spider-Man, maintaining his secret identity and balancing his normal teenage life with the help of his friend and soon to be the man in the chair, Ned, and guidance from his mentor, his hero, his shadow, Tony Stark. Peter learns what it truly means to be a hero. Spider-Man Homecoming swung its way to considerable success at the box office grossing over $880 million worldwide. This achievement was not only a testament to Spider-Man's enduring popularity, but also the film's ability to rejuvenate the character for a new generation of fans. The film's integration into the MCU breathed new life into the Spider-Man's cinematic portrayal. By situating Spider-Man within the larger MCU framework, Homecoming expanded the storytelling possibilities and allowed for exciting crossovers with other beloved characters. The inclusion of Tony Stark also provided a connective tissue between Spider-Man's world and the broader Avengers narrative. The relationship between Tony Stark and Peter Parker in the MCU evolves from mentorship to a fatherly bond. Tony sees a potential in Peter's heroism and takes on a guiding role, providing him with advanced technology and advice. Their dynamic is a delicate balance between Peter's desire for independence and Tony's protective instincts. If you're nothing without the suit, then you shouldn't wear it. Michael Keaton was great as the vulture, vicious, calculated and driven, but we also get to see his softer side in a major twist, soon to be discussed. Ultimately, the vulture did not make an impact on the MCU. He was a one-off villain that eventually got shipped to the Sony Spider-Verse. You know, that universe that would include anybody from the Spider-Man universe with the exception of an actual Spider-Man. So let's wish the Vulture all the best in his future endeavors alongside Morbius and Kraven. Spider-Man Homecoming successfully captured the essence of Peter Parker as a relatable teenager, grappling with the complexities of adolescence while juggling the demands of heroism. Tom Holland's portrayal received praise for its authenticity and youthful energy, setting a new standard for the character. The film's focus on Peter's growth and his interactions with the supporting cast, including his best friend Ned and Peter's sweetheart Liz. And all of that added depth to the story. 
the decision to steer away from Spider-Man's origin story, which had been previously depicted on screen, allowed the film to explore fresh narrative territory. Spider-Man Homecoming is a dynamic blend of superhero action, teenage drama, and humor. The film strikes a balance between heartwarming moments and thrilling superhero sequences. Michael Keaton's portrayal of Vulture provides a compelling and nuanced antagonist adding layers to the conflict. And that was really a great twist as the traffic light changed from red to green when we learned that the Vulture is actually Peter's crush interest, Liz's father. Oh man, that was tense. The decision to make the film's tone lighter and more youthful than previous iteration of Spider-Man was a wise move. It aligns with the character's history in the comics and distinguishes this version from its predecessors. With great power, there must also come great responsibility. Spider-Man Homecoming successfully webbed its way into the hearts of audiences, offering a fresh perspective on the iconic superhero. With its engaging plot, memorable characters, and integration into the MCU, the film not only revitalized the Spider-Man franchise, but also contributed to the larger narrative of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Homecoming stands as a testament to Spider-Man's enduring appeal and his ability to evolve with the times. Well, that's it for today, folks. I meant, that's it for today, folks! Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video, share your comments down below, and subscribe to Mr. Boring. Oh, yeah! And as always, you can check out some more boring videos right now. Thank you. So to become an Avenger, thank you. Trials or any of you? Do me a thank favor. You. Can't you just be a friendly neighborhood? Your kind words are appreciated.